Israel and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah have resumed cross-border rocket and airstrike attacks as the region teeters on the brink of a major escalation in fighting. Our Middle East correspondent Alison Horn has more from Jerusalem. There's been about 24 hours of relative calm on the border with Israel and Lebanon as the world waits to see whether Hezbollah and Israel are planning to escalate fighting there even further. Now cross-border attacks have resumed. Lebanese state media is reporting that Israeli strikes have hit southern Lebanon and rocket sirens have rung out across northern Israel in a sign of Hezbollah attacks. Threat of a regional spillover were sparked across the weekend when Israel launched preemptive strikes into a Lebanon, it says, to thwart a Hezbollah attack. And Hezbollah was soon firing back, launching what it says was more than 300 rockets and drones into Israel, testing Israel's defence capabilities. The fact that fighting has now resumed between the two does indicate that neither side will be backing down in this ongoing conflict. But it's it's also not the huge escalation that world leaders have been urging against. It does seem to be relatively contained along the border area at this point in time. Although locally both Hezbollah and Israel warn that all options continue to be at play. We've spoken with residents in those border regions, both on the Israeli and Lebanese side. They're anxious and concerned that this recent flare-up could spill over into a regional war. It doesn't appear that Israel or Hezbollah has an appetite for that at this point in time. In fact, both sides are claiming victory from their actions at the weekend.